So look who is late. <laughs> this is what happens when you're too early. And then you think that you have a couple of minutes. So I thought I had a couple of minutes. So I was in the kitchen and I was trying to get something in the oven. Yes, I am making Sunday dinner. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How are you all doing out there today? I am actually in a very good mood today. What? Guess what? The sun is actually shining. The sun has not shone for a while, especially on a Sunday. So we are having a gorgeous day today and I'm more happy because I am actually cooking. So the fact that I am cooking and making dinner i'm doing my live show and all of you guys are there watching i appreciate you guys i really really do appreciate you if at this time you got you know log out please log, log back in because i noticed that the chat went a little a wire just now so um let me do the regular shout out and we have let me see if I could actually start from the top. Oh, there are some new development. Today, I actually noticed when I was setting up that, guess what? There were a lot of people asking if they wish they could see the live chat feed after the video is over, after the chat is over. So I guess YouTube has been listening and now I got a notification today saying that whenever a live chat is over, they're going to pin the comments so people will actually see who comments on the live chat. Therefore, when I'm shouting you guys out, people will be able to see your names and you know your comments and all of that and know that basically i wasn't really talking to myself all right so that is good news hi jason how are you and jason is having good weather and where are you from jason i thought i saw oh you're from france oh yes i guess we're all having well most people are having um great weather today so let me see who the first person on the chat today was sharon francisco and hello sharon then we have stella white glennie's bizzle and anthony penny joan caraway ruddy rez christine foster jody m um, I'm already, I already shout you out, Jason. And then we have Gloria Dudu, Barnini, Barbara Sherrod, Judy. Hi, Judy. And that's Judy Cook. And we have Na N-A-J-J-O and Makeover, Makeup Forever. And Makeup Forever is also a regular. And then we have Sanya. And Sanya is also a regular. Um, Sangita, Sangita, then Judy Castella, that's another familiar name, and we have Steph Gold, hi Chelsea, and then Chelsea B, and then we have Cynthia E, and we have Katia, um, Marvel, Ea, ha 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 ha, God, this is funny, what is funny, <laughs> Melissa, and then we have Abby, John, um, Magdalene, and Mariah, Miriam, um, McKay, and we have our regular Sandra F, and uh, Eunice, that's N G A T I, Veronica, B E R, Berdija, and we have Sharon Henry, who is a regular. And I guess I need to, to, to stop the shout out now, right? No, let me see if I could do a few more. Lady F, regular. Maria Canalis, Angela um, Bamer, and Crane, regular. Carla, Alicia, who is on the chat today? That is their first time. Ingrid P, um, C, uh, Sinanan, that's S I N A N A N. And oh my goodness, let me see. Last four. Um, Mbet, N, and then we have that's Mbet, Abri, A B E R E, and then we have N D I O um, Opera, and I did say Lady Half already. All right, and Diane Knight, and um, Amina, Ali Lu, and uh, Shida. Saba, C, 
S E Y D A S A B A. All right, guys. So that's the shout out. Now, a quick update. Where are you guys watching from today? Just, you know, just a few people that I'll respond to. Tell me where you're watching from today. Now, if you're new to Sunday Chit Chat, Sunday Chit Chat is where we tend to have a lot of fun. We all talk about things that is going on. Skincare mostly, skincare mostly. And, oh, guess what? I totally forget the topic today. Today, we're going to talk about how to take care of your skin. And it's basically simple ways that you can take care of your skin at home without basically breaking the bank or with little to no effort. But as you draw, there are things that you can find in your kitchen that you can use to take care of your skin and have really great looking skin okay so that's our topic today so go ahead and ask as many questions as you want about skincare and how to take care of your skin and we'll address them also you can actually go ahead and ask whatever question you want to ask related to skincare okay guys all right so um i have a little announcement so Earlier um, in the week, I actually was reading up on some stuff and I came across something that is a little, you know, mm, not really disturbing or anything like that, but it's something that I have to basically be mindful of. And that is, you know how we have our beauty club, right? And with the beauty club, we tend to try to give little token here or there, you know, at the end of the month and all of that good stuff. Now, I actually was reading up and I found out that, believe it or not, it is not really allowed <laughs> to an extent, like, you know... You know, the way we were going about it and trying to get people to um, do something that we could identify who to give present to at the end of each month to be fair, you know. However, I found out that that is like a no-no. Now, personally for me, I think that my subscribers do support me a whole lot and I like the idea of rewarding um, subscribers that really and truly are there for me so now i will have to come up with a, a different way in which i could reward my subscribers so instead of us doing the i i i um anybody have any idea they could give me an how to go about this but we're not um supposed to be like you know go and you know watch a video for you to be rewarded now personally for me i am not trying to reward my subscribers for watching the video i just want my beauty club to be active like you know if somebody supports you you should give back and i feel like instead of going on the street i'm not saying that is wrong don't get me wrong and just you know giving back to just random people why not give back to the people that support you so that was basically my idea however how am i gonna know that someone support me if i don't come up with a, 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 a strategy and that's for me was to comment however as I said, just reading, it seems like it's not supposed to, whatever. For those of you who are already in, you're in, and I am definitely going to find a way in how I can reward you guys, especially people who are really and truly there for me. So if any of you have any idea, just hit me an email, chichibeauty at gmail.com, and how we could go about doing this without getting in trouble. All right, guys. All right, let me see what's on the board. Barbara. Sharon, I try to make to make every show, but my battery is low. Hello, L. I need to charge my phone. Catch you next time. All right, bye bye. Have a great week. Amaha, maha, dry skin. All right, what is it about dry skin? In order for you to get rid of dry skin, you will have to moisturize, and you gotta moisturize, 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 and that externally, internally, you need to drink a lot of water. Now, a wonderful thing that you can use on your face is avocado. 
and you could actually make a nice facial mask out of avocado if you are vegan just use some coconut milk if you're not had some yogurt or some regular whole milk and mix that with some avocado use that twice a week on your face moisturize you know twice per day and I guarantee you that your skin will be totally moisturized and not only that your skin will look cleaner fresher and dewy all right so we have brandy what is the best way to keep acne away with sensitive skin and your skin is sensitive so that is a little tricky so I'm gonna suggest that you try to steam your face at least twice per week don't burn yourself now just take a little wet rug if you don't have you know you don't want to do all of that get a nice towel get it a little warm you could actually wet it put it in a microwave make it a little warm place it over your face for about five minutes or so if you prefer get a bowl with some hot water put your face over it and let it steam and that way it's gonna help to unclog the pores and next you're gonna use a mild exfoliator okay so a mild exfoliator I'd like to use brown sugar you don't have to use brown sugar as a matter of fact you could just simply use your washcloth get a special washcloth just for your face when you get in the shower take that washcloth and gently rub it on your face after steaming and that also is gonna help to get out all of those dirt and you know sebum and stuff like that that is clogging your pores and then you're gonna moisturize your skin and a very good moisturizer for your skin is simple grapeseed oil it's not heavy it's not gonna clog your pores and you can use that twice per day it's not gonna leave your skin greasy at all so that is the basic 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 way you could get rid of your acne for sensitive skin twice per day you gotta wash your face and do not keep sticking your finger on your face like mm, something itching no make sure your hands are always clean before you touch your face all right and i hope that uh, just give it a week and see what happened all right um felicia due to acts to acne i feel that my skin is aging any advice oh yes guess what I have so many anti-aging facial mask facial serum facial scrub on this channel that you could actually go and watch now the one I just mentioned with the avocado and milk or yogurt or coconut milk is also a perfect anti-aging facial mask that you can do for your skin but I'm gonna tell you if you can get your hands on papaya papaya should be your best friend and use that ripe papaya had your coconut oil you could add the milk and the yogurt or the coconut milk to your papaya give it a on get yourself a papaya slice it up put it in the fridge reach for a little piece when you're ready blend it and you can make enough for two days and just you just give it a try just just give it a try two to three times a week use it on your face and tell me what happened at the end of the month I guarantee your skin is gonna start to look better when you're over 40 years old for those of you who are over 40 years old you we need to use things like papaya avocado and all of these wonderful stuff is gonna have our face looking really really good not to mention the very good old rice mix blend your rice just get regular rice blend it to a nice powder Put the drop, put it in a bottle, make sure it's dry every day when you are going to wash your face. Go take a little of that rice out, add some water or milk or coconut milk, and just use that on your face. If you don't want to use soap on your face, rice is also wonderful. Blend your rice, go in the bathroom with it, just put some water on it, and use it to rub all over your face. And you're going to amaze at what it could do, especially if you are getting on in age over 40 I still people said over 40 but for me I said 35 and up make sure you start using all these anti-aging stuff and serums and stuff like that on your skin and smile a lot of people say smile give you a lot of laugh line but smile also lift the cheeks and make you look much younger and much radiant so try not to frown too much because when you frown sometimes I frown a lot but you know just life's 
stress situation. <laughs> Everybody have that, right? So if you try to smile, just smile, be nice. A lot of things combined that could actually have your skin looking good. Please know that if you're feeling good, think about it. Whenever you're really in a good mood and you're feeling good, do you notice that you tend to look much better? Because smiling and feeling good on the inside also show on the outside. All right, Esther Odanga. My burger eyes are not improving. I have used a parcel recipe. It is not working for me. Um, what can help? Now tell me, you're on the chat, how many times, and listen guys, for everyone out on the chat, let's listen to this answer. And please, Esther, answer truthfully. How many times did you use a parsley recipe? Just answer in the chat. And I guarantee you, you don't use it religiously. Because if you do, you give it a week or two, you should see some difference in your eyes. Tell me now, guys, here it is. Here it comes. Esther, how many, how often do you use this and how long have you been using this? Um, Judy, do I boil the rice? Nope, I don't. All right. I like to just, you could wash the rice. All right. Strain the first water off. You really don't have to, but most people are a little, ah, oh, you know, they need to wash it, blah, blah, blah. But you just Pour, you could pour warm water on it if you want, okay? And cover it, leave it 24 hours or a day or two. And then you strain it off and you use the, the, the water to wash your face and you use the rice itself to exfoliate the skin. You do not need to boil the, skin, the rice, especially if you're going to use it as a face wash. You do not need to boil it because when you boil it, it's going to get gummy, gooey, and whatever, and that is not good. So just go ahead and blend your rice dry. Don't even wash, just blend and use that for your face. However, if you're going to make a rice serum, then you can actually boil the rice as one of my favorite rice serum. If you could want, you could Google rice serum, Chichi Beauty, and you can actually blend, um, boil the rice for that one okay so different um preparation calls for different you know routine all right all right back to the the topic how to take care of your skin and that's all we're talking about today we are talking about how to take care of your skin using natural ingredient that you can actually find in your kitchen all right another question chelsea chichi if i email you will you reply about my oh definitely 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 put your name on the top all right, put it in the, the bar and I'll just um, search for it. All right, Judy, okay, thanks. Esther, twice a day for four days. See what I mean, guys? No, guys, listen. Esther, and I'm telling you, I know these things. Esther, I've been using it twice a day for four days. Now, guys, for all of you who have watched my videos, what I normally said, you got to give it a little time. For some people, you could use it right away and you could see the difference. Esther, you need to give it a little more time. Twice a day, give it another week, Esther, come back next week. Use it the entire week. Today's Sunday. Use it from today to next Sunday. Come back on Esther and tell us your result. If you have dark under eyes, circle Esther, grate a potato and add the juice to it, and that is gonna lighten the under eyes. All right, Esther? So now we are actually challenging you, Esther, for you to go and use it and tell us what happened. All right, Ingrid P, what type of rice? White or brown, any type. White or brown is good all right not those one minute quick minute or however it is that you say no just regular rice all right no poor boil no fast cooking quick easy no just regular good old rice all right brown or or white all right um i I dress D R I S S A Augustine. Your own remedies are very good. Keep on doing your good job. Thank you so much, um, Augustine. And Samuel, see my hi. Maha, hi, Maha, my oily skin remedies. Oh, oily skin, oily skin. Did you hear what I was just telling that person with sensitive skin? I actually normally tell people to do the very same thing for oily skin. Also, you're going to use a lot of ingredients that have citric acid. And you can also use lactic acid, which is found in yogurt. So citric acid is really great for oily skin. Get If you live somewhere where you have access to peach, open that fresh peach, rub it on, on that oily skin. 
Mm, wonderful. You can use lemon, tomato, all of these good stuff, citric, um, citrus stuff is great for oily skin. If you have sensitive skin, add water to it. All right. So don't just rub the lemon on your face. Now the same thing goes for oily skin. You could steam your face, use a wash rug and exfoliate in the bathroom and it's going to help you use a light oil such as grapeseed oil. You can actually use tea tree oil also, all right, and almond oil. My favorite, however, is the grapeseed oil because it's not greasy, all right? So go ahead and try some of those citric things for your oily skin. All right, then we have um, Chelsea. Chichi, where do you recommend buying makeup as I have bought Maybelline and it irritate my face? All right, so if you use that, now there's so many wonderful natural makeup on the market today. Email me, um, Chelsea. Um, pot a cake, pot a cake, pot a cake, baker man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. All right, so I guess that is coming from, oh, that's patty cake. All right, um, Rosasia, what can I use for extreme redness on my face? And you know what? I have this wonderful video on and you're going to check it out. And you're going to find that a lot of people advertise under that video. I did not. I don't know, but there's something about that remedy that is really, really wonderful. So people with all their different products have been trying to advertise in it. Just type it in, Chichi Beauty, and it's going to come up and try it for a week. All right. Lisa Myers. How do I lighten my skin? It's two, sh two shades lighter. Okay. You want to lighten your skin? Let me tell you something. And I get this question every week. And a lot of people... Yes, there are a lot of lightning treatment on the market. Hydroquin and all of that carotene and all of that good stuff can really lighten your skin. Now, if you want your skin to look natural, then you don't need to use the hydroquin and all of that kind of a stuff. You just have to practice to exfoliate your skin. Is it going to make you look white? No. Do you really need to make it look white? Most time is the answer is no. So what most people want is their skin to look bright and fresh. If you have nice dark skin and it's clean, whoo, that is like beautiful. Why do you think people tan? You know, you just have to exfoliate. When you keep exfoliating, exfoliate, exfoliate, moisturize, moisturize. All of a sudden you see your skin looking so fair and nice and people start to say, oh, you're bleaching. No, you're just taking care of your skin, but you have to be dedicated because it is all natural. It's not going to happen open overnight. It's going to happen gradually. Okay. So if you gradually, you know, take care of your skin, you know, take care of your skin every day, you will gradually notice that your skin start to look much cleaner, much clearer, much fresher and much brighter. Okay, guys. And I am living testimony for that. All right. And if you want to get it real bright, fasa, had lemon, potato, tomato, just use those kind of a base sugar and tomato sugar with some potato. Yeah. You could add the sugar to the potato because you're exfoliating and you're exfoliating back to it again with citric acid, which is basically going to give your face a nice little peel. Also for the person with the question, I just missed your name. Click on just typing in Google facial peel Chichi beauty and try that one. All right. All right, Hivey, how do I get a younger looking skin over 40? Actually, you know, uh, this is so funny. Actually, that's something I'm working for, working on for this week. Just getting some wonderful things together for people over 40. So you're going to watch out for that video this week. And I hope you will follow suit. But it's pretty easy. Over 40, you got to use a lot of anti-aging products. You got to use retinol and retinol is basically vitamin A. So if you can get your hands and a lot of people like, Oh, I can't find vitamin A. I can't find vitamin A. You can actually find the liquid vitamin A in your pharmacy. Just go in there, ask for it 
and use just a little touch. You don't need a lot or mix it. One drop of, of vitamin A, add it to some vitamin E oil or better yet, a little drop of vitamin A, add it to your coconut oil or your olive oil and use that as a moisturizer. Boil some rice, blend it, add a drop of vitamin A, add a little bit of vitamin E, mix it up. If you have access to glycerin, mix that up, use that on your face for a month Oh, not even for a month, forever if you want. And your skin over 40, you are gonna be gorgeous. Okay, guys? So I'm coming up with a few things for skin over 40 because we really need, but the basic is you need to use anti aging products. All right? All right, whether you're gonna make it at home or you're gonna buy it, all right? But I'm just giving you the easiest, the cheapest, and the most effective way to. To, to take care of your skin over 40, believe it or not, because when you run out there and you just go in your store and you pick up that anti-aging product, just read the back of it. That's all I have to say. Read the back of it and you're going to be amazed. All right? All right. You're going to come back in the, on the channel and you're going to be like, oh, but Chichi, didn't you use that? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Um... Christine, the tomato and baking soda are great. Yes, Christina, you need to tell that person who asks about skin lightening about the tomato and the baking soda. And Crane, your double chin exercise is really working. I do it every day and I see a difference. Anybody who has are trying to get rid of their double chin should try it. Yes, 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 yes. It really works. And thank you so much for letting people know that this really and truly. Oh, wow. Five. Woo. Oh, no, not yet. Lambert, I'm back. Hope you enjoy dinner. Yes, I am trying to make some dinner today. Hi, how is it there in sunny Jamaica? Well, I'm hoping it is sunny. Lisa. Okay, thanks. All right. All right. Let me see who I'm missing here. Guys, so as I was saying earlier, ESO, SOE, thanks a lot. Since I have been watching your skin, your watching your skincare show, my skin has been really good, and my husband as well. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And that E S O H E E D E G B E and that Edge B. Um Lucy, okay, I'll talk I'll talk inner body skin. Oh, what are you saying, Lucy? Okay, let's talk inner body skin. Amorites. Oh, amorites. And I'm so out of time, but guess what? I am going to email me if you want a wonderful recipe for amorite, right? However, I am making a video on how to, you know, reduce that, right? All right. Okay. Um, Ivy. Fairly, you are doing a good job. Thank you so much. Eleanor, 63514. Hello from North Carolina. Any tips on how to read frown lines between eyes, also known as number 11? And that's what she's talking about. And yes, I have a stop talking with your eyes. Don't be like, yeah, you know. I have a friend that is always talking with her eyes and she's like, uh, uh, and what happened? You started to get wrinkles up here and wrinkle there and wrinkle there. So the first step to getting rid of that number 11 is to stop talking with your eyes. I'm talking to you now and I could be like, don't frown like that. Don't keep, you know, making all those wrinkles in your face with your eyes and the messages across. Or I could be like, don't frown. Don't be making those wrinkles in your eyes and you know, so the first step is not to talk with your eyes. Just try. Sometimes you're not aware that you're doing it, but you're doing it. And that's the reason why most people have this. If not, I have a how to get rid of laugh lines. Type that in Chichi Beauty and the very same recipe. You're going to use this to get rid of that frown line. I call it frown line. You call it number 11, whatever it is right here. But practice to not speak with your eyes. All right. I hope that helped. Um, princess, you are from Car Cameroon and that's Bertie. Hi, princess. How are you guys football team doing? I haven't been following football, but you guys used to have a wonderful team. Now, I don't know what is going on in that world anymore. So what's going on with your, you guys team? Sandra, hello. Um, 
the acne treatment really worked. My son, my son's skin is really clearing up. Thank you. And thank you, Sandra S. So that what I am talking about, guys. You got to use the things. You got to give it a try. Don't just say, okay, one day. As a matter of fact, I have someone who used a treatment one time. One, one time. A single time. And they come and say, oh, this don't work because I tried last night and it didn't work. Come on, even if you buy hydroquin and you use it on your skin, 2% hydroquin, you're not going to see results in a couple of hours. No, it ain't going to happen. So you got to keep using it. Always remember it's natural. And anything that you do the right way, the natural way, always slow, slow, slow process. However, there are many of my recipes that you can use it and you see immediate result. For instance, if you use a facial mask, most of those, once you use it, rest it off, you look on your face, your face is glowing. So you do have some that you can have instant result. But if you have spots and blemishes and stuff like that, it's not going to go away in 24 hours. So you got to keep using it. All right. So to take care of your skin at home, make sure you wash your face twice per day. Use a facial scrub at least twice per week. And every week I gave you, I give you guys example of how to use basic facial scrub at home. Lemon and baking soda, lemon and brown sugar. Use a facial mask at least twice per week. Things you could find in your kitchen, ripe banana, avocado, all right? Milk, yogurt, um, peach, and even apple. Just use all of those things on your face as a facial mask and you're going to be good. Then you're going to use a facial toner. Simple, easy, cheap facial toner, green tea and rice water. Or green tea, pomegranate juice, rice water. Make that and I have all those recipes guys. So just put them in and guys please learn to use the channel page a lot of time you ask question can you make this can you make it that it's already there you could just click on my face in black and white and that is going to take you to my channel page click on videos once you click on videos you're going to get to see all my videos now i think i um at a stage where google do put an app so you can actually just type in um, whatever it is you're looking for, one single word, facial mask or coconut, chichi beauty, and they're all going to pop up. So whatever you want, just learn to use the, the channel page. Most people have never been on the channel page. They just wait for the notification or whatever. But if you go on the channel page, you're going to be like, oh my God, because there's so many wonderful things on the channel page that you could benefit from. And I guarantee you, for most people, you're going to find ingredient that you already have in your kitchen just just type it in and it's gonna pop up okay guys wow the time is all gone Sharon Henry yes um, Vanita I, I did the brown sugar and oranges wonderful great Carol Nixon how do you get rid of fat and the inner ties squat release up squat release pelvic sucks pelvic sucks squat pelvic sucks okay all right um um Cassandra, <laughs> no, I know I'm going to close with this, but I have to give you guys this joke. So Cassandra Allen, she actually um, asking me, she's asking a question. How can I get rid of moles or eight spot? However, Cassandra, you spell the word how, H-O-E, and your comment got flagged. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is really... Guys, you gotta spell the word right, all right? Because, Cassandra, it got flat. I could see it, but nobody else. I would have to approve it. So just for people to see what I'm talking about, I'm gonna click on it, and it's gonna come up on the feed. So there it goes, Cassandra. <laughs> That's funny, guys. Make sure your mouth is clean. Your right it is clean. All right, guys. Um, Lerbe, Chichi, oh, does encourage regular and consistency to make the recipe work. Right. Thank you so much, Lerbe. Um, 
let me see it my time is up guys i'm so sorry um cassandra i'm sorry typo i know i know it's typo but it's just funny that they they they, they blocked that that um that comment all right sharon all right consistency is the key to great skin all right guys so that's my time thank you all for watching i didn't even do the announcement you know but everybody know what is going on in the beginning with the whole presenting so i'll figure it out and send me an email guys give me some ideas on how we could do this in a you know a rather discreet manner without being like yeah you gotta go do this or you know but guess what i i'm gonna be doing it so we gotta find a way that it is acceptable all right guys thank you all that's my time have a wonderful week guys i am so appreciative of you guys thank you for your continuous support 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 without you guys this would not be happening and i love you all have a wonderful week go and take care of your skin take care of yourself because nobody's gonna do it for you stop stressing well who are you to tell people not to stress but i'm just saying just try whenever you feel down whenever you feel discouraged whenever you feel that you know mm, you just can't be bothered go and make a facial scrub go in your kitchen find something whip it up Put it on your face and I guarantee you, you're going to feel um, much better within 15 to 20 minutes. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. And I will be right here next Sunday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another in our series, Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. Have a great week, guys. Bye.